Hospitali ya Taifa Muhimbili imepokea wanafunzi hamsini kutoka Chuo Kikuu cha Tiba, Sayansi na Teknolojia cha Khartoum nchini Sudan. Wanafunzi wanaosomea kozi za afya mwaka wa mwisho ambao watashiriki katika masomo kwa vitendo hospitalini hapo. Akizungumza wakati wa kuwakaribisha wanafunzi hao, Mkurugenzi Mtendaji wa Hospitali ya Taifa Muhimbili, Profesa Muhammad Janabi, amesema kama taifa limwapokea wanafunzi hao na watashiriki katika masomo kwa vitendo katika vitengo mbalimbali vya utoaji wa huduma za afya kama ambavyo hospitali hiyo hufanya kwa wanafunzi wa ndani kwani wanafunzi hao ni wanafunzi wa mwaka wa mwisho hawa vijana walikuwa wakeletu hapa kwa hiyo watakuwa na sisi kwa mwaka mzima kumaliza masomo yao au paka kupata kapotulia hili ni kundi la kwanza na kwa sisi kwa upande wetu wa mwimbili eh, sio kwamba ni kitu cha kujitarisha kama mnavoelewa mwimbili ndio yenye wataalamu kwa kada yoyote ile whether ni ya figo tumbo magonjo ya ngozi uh, magonjo ya kisukari na kadhalika hospitali ya taifa ndio yenye madaktari wengi zaidi ya asilimia themanini ya madaktari wote kwa hiyo hamna upungufu wa elimu tumejipanga vizuri na tutahakikisha kwamba hawa vijana na wengine ambao tunategemea watakuja kuna projection kwamba watakuja wengine 500 kwa hiyo leo tumewakaribisha rasmi lakini wameshakuwa na sisi karibu wiki eh, na ahadi kubwa kutoka kwa timu yangu yote ya management madaktari wa uguzi ni kwamba tuta kuwafundisha kama vile tunavyowafundisha eh, wanafunzi wetu wanaotoka chuo chetu kikuu cha Muhas na baadhi wanaotoka nchi za jirani tuna wanafunzi kutoka Rwanda Burundi Aidha Profesa Janabi amesema hospitali ya Taifa Muhimbili ndio hospitali kubwa Afrika Mashariki na inayotoa huduma zote za afya hivyo amewaahidi wanafunzi hao kuendelea kujifunza katika hospitali hiyo na kutoa fursa kwa wale watakaomaliza kuendelea na kazi katika hospitali ya Taifa Muhimbili sisi kama Muhimbili mnakufahamu ndio hospitali kubwa kuliko yoyote hapa Afrika Mashariki kwa hiyo hata napokujia kwamba walimu au madaktari bingwa kuwafundisha Uh, asilimia karibu 80 ya madaktari bingwa wote Tanzania kwenye fani mbalimbali wako mwimbili hospitali yetu ya taifa tuna wagonjwa wa kutosha kama mnavyofahamu tuna wagonjwa karibu 2000 wanokuja hapa kila siku kwenye kliniki zetu za nje tuna wagonjwa moja ambao wako ndani wamelazwa vile vile kwa upande wa Mloganzila tunaona karibu wagonjwa saba kila siku na wale 400 paka 500 ambao wamelazwa. Kwa hiyo kwa wamekuja sehemu sahihi eh, ambayo sisi wote hapa tulokuwa mwimbili timu ya management, walimu, madaktari, wa uguzi tutafanya ili linawezekana. Na sisi faida kubwa tunaiona kwa nchi yangu Tanzania ni kwamba tunaweza kusambaza elimu kwa majirani zetu katika kipindi cha amani wale wanokuja mmoja mmoja kusoma lakini hata inapotokea matatizo ndio eh, maana ya umoja wa Afrika kwamba tunaweza ku hiyo ndio faida kubwa kwa upande wake mkuu wa chuo hicho profesa Mamun Homeida ameshukuru serikali ya Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania na uongozi wa hospitali ya Taifa Muhimbili kwa mashirikiano yaliyopo kwa kuwapokea na kuwaruhusu wanafunzi hao kuweza kukamilisha masomo yao. Well I would like uh, first to extend my thanks and gratitude to uh, the director Professor Janabi and his team in Muhimbili the hospital of Mihambili uh, for welcoming us and for welcoming our students as you know Sudan now is torn by a savage war and uh, since it's now 60 days on the war we started to think about our students and how they can complete their courses to be doctors we are we received a very good welcome in Tanzania We have uh, many relationship with many African countries and Tanzania is chosen because it's a very stable country peace and the name Dar es Salaam is the house of peace that is number one. it is secure 
and the academia and the medical profession is very high among the African countries. So we want to the place where they can welcome us, where teaching is going to be up to standard, and we can at least give an out view of African countries, and Tanzania comes at the fairest choice for us to come here. Naye mkurugenzi mtendaji wa taasisi ya wakala wa vyo vikuu nje nchi Global Education Link bwana Abdul Malik Molel amesema kuwa ujio wa wanafunzi hao ni uthibitisho kwa hospitali ya taifa muhimbili imejitosheleza na iko tayari kutoa elimu kwa mataifa ya nje lakini pia hatua hiyo itaweza kufungua fursa katika utalii wa kimatibabu na kutoa mfano kwa yale yaliyoweza kujitokeza katika nchi ya Ukraine na China kama itakumbukwa ndani ya miaka mitatu iliyopita wa Tanzania wengi kwa kupitia globo peke yake wanafunzi wangu elfu moja walitoka China kwa ajili ya tatizo la uviko 19 ilikuwa mwaka elfu mbili na ishirini. wanafunzi hao walipofika nchini miongoni mwao walikuwa ni wanafunzi ambao wanasoma udaktari na ili kukamilisha taratibu ya udaktari walitakiwa kupata sehemu kwa ajili ya mafunzo kwa vitendo ili wamalizie sawa sawa na hao wanafunzi wa Sudan kwa sasa hivi hizi hospitali zetu kwa kushirikiana na Wizara ya Afya Wizara ya Elimu hospitali zetu muhimbili ilikuwa ni moja ya hospitali iliyowapokea wanafunzi wale lakini kabla ya kuwapokea vyo vikuu vya nje vilitaka kukagua quality na standard uwezo wa hospitali zetu kama unaweza kuaccept kuchukua wanafunzi wao hospitali zetu ikiwepo muhimbili zili qualify kwa sababu ya umahiri wa ufundishaji wetu na kutumia evaluation system na monitoring system ambayo mwanafunzi akiwa anasoma huku kila siku kuanzia asubuhi mpaka jioni wamekuwa wanafunzi wakipandisha kwenye platform maalumu nini wamejifunza halafu wale ma lecturer wa upande wa pili wana uwezo wa kujua asubuhi ratiba ilikuwa ni nini na siku hiyo wanafunzi wao wamefanya nini kwa kutumia mfumo huo ndio maana wanafunzi wale wa Tanzania walikuwa approve certificate zao na leo ni madaktari lakini sio tu hiyo imetokea mwaka 2022 vita vya Ukraine na Urusi tumepokea wanafunzi zaidi ya mbili wa Tanzania ambao wamekuja Tanzania na miongoni mwao walitakiwa kumalizia mwaka wao wa tano katika upande wa clinical rotation kwa upande wa elective madaktari wapo vifaa vipo system ipo kwa hiyo tuendelee kuwapokea kwetu sisi ni uchumi tuko kwenye medical tourism iko siku kumbe hata wagonjwa wanaotoka Sudan ikiwa kuna sehemu wamekwama wataendelea kushuka lakini kidiplomasia huu ni undugu na tutaendeleza undugu na wao miongoni mwa wanafunzi hao ni Ruba Anwar ambaye ni kiongozi wa wanafunzi hao ameishukuru hospitali ya taifa Muhimbili na serikali kwa ujumla kwa kuwapa wanafunzi hao fursa ya masomo katika hospitali hiyo Um, I would like to start off by thanking Professor Mamoun and Professor Muhammad Janabi for this amazing opportunity and uh, we're very delighted to be here. The welcome we have received has been beyond our expectations and as Professor Mamoun has already mentioned we've traveled from very far distances to gain all the knowledge that we can get. Um, we have been so lucky to be afforded. We have already started rounds and the amount of knowledge that we gain from just one week is beyond our expectations. Um, so thank you very much. So this is my first time here and the people are very very nice. They've all, they are all very welcoming and uh, we've learned a little bit of uh, Swahili like mambo. So yeah, thank you. He ni kwa mara ya kwanza kwa hospitali ya taifa Muhimbili kupokea wanafunzi kutoka nje nchi ambao pia waliweza kupatiwa semina na uongozi wa Global Education Link inayohusu utaratibu wa jinsi mafunzo hayo yatakavyoendeshwa na mambo ya msingi yatakayofuatwa wakiwa katika mafunzo yao. You can manage to put very clear this I can manage 100% on my own. But you can say this one I know it but oh, by observation and this one my friend i only have the knowledge but i never even knew what exactly this we are doing ah it's fine so we'll we'll concentrate on how to transform you from the knowledge you have to the knowledge you don't have 